Hello everybody, welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Today we are pulling, well, we are going to throw some pulls at an Eidolon for Acheron. Now, I really want to get uh, Adventuring. I, I, I've made my mind, I kind of want to. So we are only going to throw, I said yesterday 30, we are going to throw 40 pulls at this banner. If we get another Acheron, we still have a ton of Jades, plus we have a few more days and events this patch. We have a ton of, of pulls coming. We should 100% be able to get adventuring. If we lose Acheron, if we lose the 50-50, get another character, right? Then we're guaranteed adventuring uh, whenever we pull for him. If we don't pull any legendaries, we have 40 towards the pity. So without further ado, without wasting any time, let's get into it. Can we do it? First 10 pull. No, we can't. No, we can't. But there's no shame in not getting in at the first temple. I, I swear, there's no shame in it. If you didn't get Akron in your first temple, then that's okay. That's okay. You were allowed to not get Akron in the first temple. Okay, it's not expected. It's not expected at all. There we go. Halo, we got some more Undying Starlight. We really like to get that because I am actually going for a lot of the, um, <clears throat> for a lot of the free-to-play light cones. Uh, I know a few that could really work for me. I have Welt. I'm going to use Welt with Akron. If I could get Welt's name brand light cone, uh, well, his uh, <coughs> signature light cone, that would be really great. That would be awesome. Okay, second 10 pull in the bin. In the bin, unfortunately. In the bin. Garbanzo. Nothing to see here. But who knows? I mean, last last pull, last ten pull, we just did get a uh, four, uh, three four stars, right? So we got Pale already, Inuyen already. Now, of course, all those characters are E six, but that's okay. Like I just said, I need undying. Or I need undying Starlight. <clears throat> okay. Let's see if we can get it here. Third ten pull. I said I was only gonna do thirty in the yesterday's video. I decided I'm going to do forty. I decided I'm going to do 40 in this one. Okay? I've made the decision. I've made the decision to be dumb. Okay? Just saying. I did. And you know what? I don't regret it. I don't regret my decision. I'm going to be a little silly. Wow. All these pulls, I completely forgot Gallagher, Gallagher is coming out. And Gallagher came out, I mean. And he exists, and here we go. We got our first copy of Gallagher. We officially are remaining to have, you know, all the four stars in the game on the account. Now, there's an event that I think gives you a, a guaranteed um, four star uh, out of a selector, and it has a lot of options, and Gallagher is one of them, so we would have gotten him anyway if we really wanted him just to have him on the account. But hey, now today I said I was going to do 40. I, I redecided that I'm going to do 40. And you know what the crazy thing is that I decided till I pulled it on the 40 and, and I'm being completely genuine here. I'm not being an addict. I promise this was my plan. If you made it here to the fourth 10 pull, I would like you to know that I'm going to be doing a fifth, a fifth and final. You know what? No. After we do the fifth, let's read Akron's E1 and let's see how we feel about it. I'm being serious. We could, we could just, I might just decide to do it. I either go for it until I lose the 50-50 or get the character. All right, so this will be the fifth 10 pull. We're going to look at the E1 after this and decide whether or not we believe that it is worth it. Okay, we did not get it. We did not get it, which means that we could go for it right after this. Okay, we can go for it right after this. We're going to look. We're going to see. We're going to read. We're going to think. Okay, we got our first Gallagher Eidolon. That's cool. I'm not exactly sure how good that character is. I'm not sure. I don't know. So let's read. Let's do a little bit of reading. A little bit of reading. Just a teeny tiny bit. Not this character. This character. When dealing damage to debuffed enemies, increase the crit rate by 18%. I actually don't like that a lot. E2 is probably the, the crazy good one, huh? 
The number of nihility characters required for the Trace of the Abyss to achieve the highest possible effect is reduced by 1. When this unit's turn starts, gain 1 point of Slash Stream and inflicts 1 stack of Crimson Knot to the enemy with the most Crimson Knot stacked. Okay. That's probably the good one. I, I actually have decided that this E1 is not good enough for me. I'm being genuine. I don't want it. Well, I don't think that it's worth it to keep pulling. Okay, now that I've lost 50 pulls, right? I put 50 pulls now into the banner, and you know what that means? I cannot believe that we still haven't gotten Don Hung E6. Um, just over time. Um, we're not going to pull for it, which means that we're done. Thank you all for watching. This this has been a decision that I, I am completely happy to make because I really do want to pull for adventuring. I have made up the decision that unless Boot Hill goes insane, 2.3 is going to be a dead patch for me. Wait, 2.2. 2.2 with Robin and Boot Hill. Unless one of them do something insane, that patch is going to be a dead farming patch for me. So I really wanted to really show you guys that I was going to go ham on this patch, right? For Acheron and pull for her, pull for her, uh, Eidolon, wait, not her Eidolon, pull for her light cone, and then also pull for adventuring and acquire him too, right? Because we will, we will, I have faith. We should have enough pulls in here and we already have 50 in the bin, right? We already have 50 down, uh, real quick. Real quick, let's do something. Let's do something here. Um, let's let's do the standard warps that we have. We have two. We have two. Not a lot, but we have two. Okay, we we didn't get anything. We're good. We're moving on. I will probably have the ten in order to acquire this extra five star i assume i will have enough on when adventuring comes out so we are also going to guaranteed get our standard um we're going to get our standard five star pick okay and we are going to get our adventuring all right in the next half of this patch also stay tuned for tier list coming out after adventuring comes out uh, a lot of my tier lists that I usually do are going to come out after adventuring comes out. That way we can really look at both characters unless I get super restless and decide, Hey, people usually like my tier lists. I'm going to do one. Um, I'm going to do one every half a patch. That way, every time a new character comes out, I can edit the tier list, right? That would be something that would be something that would definitely reduce the length of the video, the tier list videos, because I'd be updating it so much more often, twice as often. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you if you watch this. Uh, I did a very similar thing in the I Got Bored video, which actually became my most viewed video on the account. Um, but this time it wasn't out of boredom. I genuinely, without even seeing the E1, I was like, I could pull an Eidolon for this character. I'm going all in on this character. But if I didn't get it in 50 pulls, 50 pulls that we did, right? I'm not willing to sacrifice that many resources into it. I got it in the first five, 10 pulls. Okay. Okay. It's a tax write off, but we, we really want to get adventuring. I don't want to put that at risk. I don't want to put that at any major risk. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video. Give it a like. If you, you know, give me a subscribe. If you know, if you want to see future content, uh, Make sure you click the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload in the future. I really appreciate you guys. Peace.